a brisk business that's expanded along with Turkey's middle class. Ramazan Akturk has been selling products made by Turkey's largest home appliances company for 25 years. But lately, his sales have taken a hit. We've had to put our prices up because of the current economic situation and that's affected our sales. Despite this, he is optimistic that he and the country can weather the current economic storm, which began as a war of words with Turkey's NATO ally, the U.S., over, according to the President Donald Trump, the arrest of an evangelical pastor, Andrew Brunson, sparking a trade spat between the two countries. It's the start of the holiday week here in Turkey, and despite the slump, the shopping malls and bazaars are all packed with people. But prices have shot up in recent days, and people are feeling the pinch. It's affected us a lot. Half my pension has already gone because of this. I don't know how I'll afford holiday presents for my family. We need money to shop. We can't do anything about it. This is about the games being played between global powers. It's kind of a cold war. The devaluation in the Turkish lira may be good for exporters, but the uncertainty and continuing antipathy with the U.S. has rattled the economy, even as the currency stabilized last week. Of course, the tariffs on aluminium and iron and other financial attacks have affected Turkey's economy. It's borderline economic exploitation by the U.S. as it's affected our sales. President Erdogan has placed much faith in an agenda of growth at all costs. But that has had its own drawbacks. Billions of dollars have been borrowed and spent, particularly in infrastructure and construction projects, a tactic that could become unsustainable if there is further instability in Turkey's economy. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Istanbul.